Right, yeah, I'm here with oh, uh, Coach Glenn. You're filming me? I, I have to. <laughs> I'm going to take my glasses off. <laughs> part, of the, part of the job. I'm here with uh, Coach Glenn Foster of the Ipswich Boys Lacrosse team. Coach, uh, how important is it to get a big win uh, like this to start the state tournament? Um, well, usually this is the first game. This is usually like this in a tournament because uh, I think you get a lot of teams who come in who have winning records during the year and uh, it's not indicative of the record. So usually I, the first round is like this. Uh, so with these, you just want, hope you want to keep playing well, uh, get out with no injuries, of course, and uh, move on to whatever the next game is. With that being said, you know what to expect with them. Uh, how would you assess the overall performance when you did get 19 goals? Well, I thought, we, I mean, that we started off well. I mean, that's what I was kind of looking for is to, uh, when you go in the tournament, obviously, you need to play well all the time. Uh, so I was looking if we started off very well. And then, of course, after that, you want to maintain that they do the things they're supposed to do and not get bad habits that are going to show up down the road when you actually need to play your best across. Uh, your, your captains played phenomenal tonight, uh, Kevin and Pat, both with four goals each, and obviously Aiden holding them to three goals. What's, how, uh, what does their leadership mean to the team? Well, I mean, it's, this team's coming around. I think this team's much improved since we were at the beginning of the year. We had a lot of question marks. Um, Blake Emerson's huge on face-offs. He gets possession all the time. Uh, Kevin and Pat are very steady in what they do, and they obviously they, have, they can both shoot, and they've got uh, good stick skills. On the other end, Alex Brum and um, Jack Sotoropoulos have been playing extremely well defensively. And uh, again, at the midi, I got those couple of middies, Rugo and... Um, Ben Yen's become a scoring threat, and Rugo is just a very good defensive midi, and they've taken on these roles, and I think that's helped us uh, become a good team. Any guys coming off the bench late there that you don't usually get to get in there that you saw anything from? Yeah, I mean, the kids from next, Ethan John Childs, I think, is going to become a pretty good player. He's, he's fairly aggressive, handles the stick well, moves around well. Uh, obviously, next year, him and Ben should be a good scoring one-two punch for us. So. Just got some of the defense. Actually, we have a lot of seniors on this class. We don't have any juniors, so some of those kids that went out are sophomores, or we have to leave. So you don't have many numbers. Have to leave those kids on the field a little bit longer than you'd like to in a game like this. Uh, even in a win like this, is there any uh, improvements that you see that uh, you guys need going in deeper into the tournament? Well, that problem all year long has been. Uh, we refer to it as the little leprechaun who pops out of my pocket and makes us play lousy for these periods of time in the game. We lose the consistency. We'll go along for five minutes and look like, okay, we're really good, then we drop the ball, throw someone's head. So we've been working the last few weeks and trying to get the consistency up so we play all the way through the game and not make those mistakes. You saw a little bit of the last two minutes of the half. And all oh, yeah. of a sudden it was like, are you kidding me? What are we doing yeah. now? And then when we first put the group in, I think we fell down down here, threw three bounce passes, threw it over the kid's head. And it's like, they're all like, oh, there's the leprechaun. <laughs> so we got to get rid of him and get back to what we do. And look, looking ahead as far as scouting goes for the next round, uh, what is it, Fenwick or St. Mary's? Yeah, yeah, Fenwick, Fenwick, St. Mary's, they're playing tomorrow, so we'll go get, take a look at them. <laughs> Obviously, if you win that game, I suspect down the road will be the Generals. Uh, I mean, it would have been nice to get seated enough to see them in the north again, but obviously that's not going to happen. So that will be obviously a big test there. But I think they've got a test against Manchester Essex. We used to play them, I think, pretty tough during the season. So, uh, you know, as we know from the past, there's no gimmies in this. Anybody can show up and beat anybody else when you get to the past the second. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you very much.